and it can help lighten any dark spots, which I definitely get. Does Kourtney Kardashian know her skincare? Well, we're gonna watch and react to her nightly skincare routine, and I'll give her a grade at the end of it. Okay, so I have combination skin, and my skincare routine is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven step process. Seven steps? Who has time to do seven steps of skincare every night? Apparently, Courtney does. I use this micellar cleansing water. I think there's a lot of different brands out there, so I've tried a bunch and they're all the same. Micellar cleansing water is very popular nowadays as a way to kind of uh, prepare your skin for a true cleansing. So after a long day of working, filming, um, you know, running around all day, it's so nice to just get my makeup off. This just might be the most important thing that you can do in all of skincare. It's cleanse your face at night. You have to get rid of makeup, the day's oil, debris, and pollution that clogs your pores and sits on your face. The worst thing that you can do is go to bed without washing your face. Okay, next step is Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser, which has recently become my favorite face cleanser. It doesn't strip your skin, which I've found many face cleansers can strip and leave my skin feeling really dry. So this does not, but it definitely makes my skin feel really clean and, you know, gets my makeup off. Now she's doing a double cleanse. Some people think that in order to get your makeup off, you've got to just rub and rub and rub it off. Not a good idea. Better to do a double cleanse like she is doing to get rid of the makeup and the day's dirt and grime and debris off your skin. So my next step is a face mask. And I love to do, if I have time, I will alternate three different face masks even in one night. This is the Caudalie Instant Detox Mask. This is one of my favorites. This is a good mask that combines pink clay uh, with antioxidants. Pink clay is great for the skin because it can infuse minerals, it helps to hydrate the skin, and it can help with exfoliation. So this mask gets a thumbs up from me. While I'm doing my entire skin routine, I sip on our Poosh and Vital Proteins Pink Moon Milk, which is collagen. Um, I firmly believe in beauty from the inside out. Now she is speaking my language, beauty from the inside out. One of the hottest topics in natural health and medicine today is collagen. And does taking a collagen supplement, like a collagen drink or hydrolyzed collagen, does that help improve the collagen of your skin? And the few studies that have been done say yes, it does. Full disclosure though, I have my own brand, Yoon Health, of supplemental collagen, and this is our top seller for nutritional supplements in my online store. So I'm a big fan of it, my patients are big fans of it. I tell you, I hear so many stories of people who take collagen and their skin looks better, their joints feel better, um, they just look and feel younger. I will also do a lip scrub, and this one is French Girl Rose Lip Polish. I actually got this for my birthday. So after a lip scrub, I love to put on a lip balm, and I love this Barbara Sturm lip balm. It's very smooth. It's definitely one of my favorites. We tend to neglect the lips when we're taking care of our skin. So I like that she's showing how she actually then exfoliates the skin of her lips and then applies a lip balm. Now I wouldn't recommend exfoliating your lips every night, maybe a couple of times a week, but this is definitely something that can help give you a much nicer, prettier pucker. This is our Aura and Poosh Hyaluronic Halo with CBD. So it's hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, and CBD. And it's a serum. I haven't used this product before, but it sounds really good to me. Hyaluronic acid is an excellent moisturizer of the skin, and it's not greasy, so it's a really, really nice ingredient. Uh, vitamin C is one of the most popular ingredients of, in all of skincare, and with good reason. It is a powerful antioxidant, so it fights free radical damage. And CBD is one of the hottest ingredients in skincare right now. It is a powerful antioxidant. The question with CBD is, does, do the effects of CBD 
are they really as good as people claim that they are in skincare? And right now the science isn't quite there yet. I always put every product on my hands and chest as well. If you've got skincare, you're putting creams on, do not neglect your neck and your chest or your décolleté. These are areas that are often neglected. I see so many patients where they come in and they've got perfect skin on their face and their neck has a lot of age spots and a lot of wrinkling in the chest. So you don't necessarily have to buy more products, just use what you have on your face and then kind of work it on down a bit too. So this is our Aura and Poosh Derma Roller, which I soak in rubbing alcohol for at least 10 minutes after the last time I use it. And then I rinse it. You have to make sure if you're gonna use a derma roller that you sterilize it in alcohol. If you use a derma roller that has uh, not been cleaned appropriately, or God forbid you use somebody else's derma roller, oh, then you could be transferring bacteria onto your skin. You could be spreading bacteria to worsen acne, increase inflammation, and even get some type of infection. So be very careful, gotta sterilize these things. So this is teeny, teeny, tiny little needles. And then I roll. So I go like five times in one area. And this builds collagen. It's really helped with my skin's texture and tone. At-home derma rollers are quite controversial with dermatologists and plastic surgeons. And the fear is that you can buy these derma rollers, which are basically these tiny little pins on a rolling mechanism that make tiny little pokes into your skin. If you buy hers, my guess is that her pins are quite short and it's not gonna be long enough to create real damage. But you can buy them online where the pins are quite long and you can create literally um, wounds to your skin where your skin is actually bleeding afterwards. And this could be a recipe for disaster. And it really gets the product into your skin. So it just takes any products that you're using to the next level. The idea here is that by making these tiny little holes in your skin and then applying, let's say, a nice serum over it, that serum can get better penetration. And there definitely is some truth to that. The other way to get better penetration is to exfoliate your skin. Do like an alpha hydroxy acid type of a peel. That can be done either at a doctor's office or there are very, very light peels that you can do at home as well. And it can help lighten any dark spots, which I definitely get. All right, so, so far I have been 100% with Courtney on everything she's doing, but this claim is just hogwash in my opinion. Uh, by ro derma rolling with the tiny, tiny pins, you're not gonna get rid of excess pigment. You're not gonna make sunspots go away. So that just doesn't hold water for me. Then I take the serum one more time and then it really goes in there. The serum is so healing. It's one of my favorite products, probably my favorite. If you're the type who've only used creams and lotions and ointments on your skin, and you've never tried a serum, I would strongly encourage you try a vitamin C serum on your skin. Actually, one of our top sellers in my skincare line is our CE antioxidant serum, because just like she said, it does feel soothing on the skin, it does feel healing on the skin, it's definitely worth checking out often don't have to use moisturizer, but if I feel like my skin is dry, then I love this Dr. Barbara Sturm Face Cream Light. Like I said, my skin can tend to break out, so this one really does not make me break out. Does everybody need to use a moisturizer? The answer is no. If you've got oily skin, then just applying a serum a lot of times is really all you need, especially in the summer months when there's more humidity in the air. Now, I'm sure this is a really nice moisturizer. The, the ingredients look really good in it, but it is expensive. It's over $200. And a fun fact about me is that I do not use an eye cream. I just use moisturizer. I really don't love an eye cream. Don't know why. I disagree with her here, and eye cream is definitely important, and I usually recommend one with retinol. So what do I think about Kourtney Kardashian's nighttime skincare routine? I like it. The one thing that I would add to her routine, however, is a retinol. So if I had to give her a grade, I give her an A minus, the minus for lack of a good anti-aging cream like a retinol cream. So although the Kardashians appear to have good skincare routines, what about what they eat in a day? 
check out this video where I react to what her sister Kylie Jenner eats in a day, and I'll give her a letter grade as well of what I think of it. 